what it do what it do you all it is i for us to be i know you may not can see me as good as you need to i'm sorry if you don't like it donate some footage with camera lighting because the bitch needs that in order to do this but whatever the case let's get on to this topic i'm on my way home from the club in miss nashville tennessee for those that don't know we have a lot of petty ass people here but there's still me am i petty some say Am I cute? Most say. Am I to myself all the time? Do I love most people? Yeah. But anyway, let me tell y'all about messy ass sissy slash punk slash hoes slash niggas slash bitches. Messy hoes and star something. Let me tell you what happened. Okay. I am a curious person. And believe it or not, I am genuinely careful about other people's feelings and what I say to people and I try to be real I mean if you've known me a long time or if you know who I am you pretty much know that what I say is true so it is and I've never had a problem telling nobody to their face to get the fuck out my face or shut the fuck up or I smack you or punch you in your face so you know it's really that's just my personality that's who I am I'm not gonna change for nobody let me tell about this messy sissy Oh my god, I was curious about somebody, and if the sissy knows who they are, then, I, you know, hey, I shouldn't have to say nothing else, but just know, you got a special shout out on being petty. How's you doing? Anyway, let me tell y'all what happened. I was asking about the this person that I heard was sick, and the person actually is sick, but not the type of sick that I had heard she had. But then again, I did hear that sick. Whatever the case, I heard it from somebody else. So I asked this particular sissy about her, but I wasn't doing it to be spiteful or evil. I was asking her because I generally hasn't seen the child in a while and wanted to know how she was, how she was doing. Don't you know the petty sissy waited? Let me lock my dog because you know why people break into your contract kill you too. Don't you know this sissy went and tried to be messy and start some mess on Sly because she didn't understand the type of person I am and how I ask for stuff? I said, that's how people come up missing, being messy. I don't want nobody to underestimate what the fuck I do. I am not scared to confront anybody, and I'm not scared to say what's on my mind. But if I care enough to ask about you, that means I honestly do ask about you. But whatever the case... I got confronted about it and I was like okay I don't want even if the girl did have something I didn't want to tell it in front of a whole bunch of people but the girl brought it to her attention in front of a whole bunch of people so I need to know if I'm wrong I'm thinking to myself this bitch trying to read me or trying to get some stuff started in front of a whole bunch of people and I don't do good with you trying to break my damn face in front of a whole bunch of folks because a I like to snap and I like to grab folks and so I actually like these people so I'm like maybe they wasn't meaning it in a in a petty form and then I was like well maybe she was just taking up for her because she thought I was trying to be sneaky and start a rumor but bitch it's not a rumor for me if somebody told my ass and at least I did have the nerve to come and try to find the person to ask them myself because I genuinely wanted to care I mean we did grow up I did grow up around the person and I'm silly and the bitch laughs at me and tells me I'm a fucking fool so I feel I should be able to talk to her if I want to and ask her if she's doing okay she said it's not that serious um and she wasn't mad and to drop it that's cool but i need to know who the fuck i'm surrounding myself around when i see them because i'm not phony and i don't deal with phony people but everybody got petty sisters and punks and fucking wannabe down assholes in their life bald-headed cousins do it fat ass bitches that don't like skinny hoes skinny ass hoes that don't like fat bitches Niggas that don't like sissies, that are sissies. I mean, this whole thing. So I'm just so... I just... I feel bad is what I'm saying. I actually feel bad about being careful and want to know about this bitch. And it's petty because I really don't never give a fuck about nobody else that I barely see or talk to. So I'm wondering, was I in the wrong or am I in the wrong for feeling like I have cared? Because I still like the bitch and I really... 
I heard that she was, you know, going through stuff. So I'm like, well, maybe I can make the bitch laugh. That's honestly what I thought. I'm like, well, I can call that girl, have her laugh since she's sick. You know, talk about my good pussy and my goodies and, you know, all the single sissies. And it'll be okay. Don't get me wrong. I do talk about folks. But people talk about me, so I figure I can talk about people. And I don't feel bad about it because, A, if I'm talking about you, that means that you need to fix what the fuck you got going on or... I'm jealous or I ain't got nothing to do. Most of the time I ain't got shit to do. But I don't ever say nothing where it's going to hurt your feelings or I'm going to say it like to be spiteful. Because it's just not me. I always say something in a jokeful form. But I'm not going to talk about you being sick if you're dying or something. Not unless you dying from being ignorant. And then I might talk about some stuff but it's not to be funny. So it's like a prevention measure or whatever. But whatever the case, I just wanted to know, do y'all think I'm petty? If you do, I mean, that is what it is. But I'm still going to do me. I just feel bad now because I feel I may have hurt this child's feelings. And I truly wasn't. This is a sensitive part of me, y'all, that don't know. But messy sissies. Sissies are always running their motherfucking mouth. They always try to get shit started. They always do shit to try to get a fight started. And see, I'm the type of bitch, if I get into a fight, I'm going to fuck you up. Because I was raised that way. I sit next suburban and cute because that's what I do because I'm white. Sometimes. And then I flip crazy and start kicking you in your damn forehead and your throat. Because that's just how I am. And so, me being older, I don't like that type of environment. So, I stay away from that bullshit. But what I will say is, if y'all got any sissy friends for gay people that have other gay friends, watch them hoes because they will switch on you unless they are truly genuine, unless they real. If them hoes are hanging with other sissies and they switch their personality each time they go around them, they phony and messy. Run, bitch, run. If them hoes are in your face talking about how much they love you and like you, but when they get away from you, ooh, this bitch trifling, petty, this and that, that's another messy asshole. If the bitch jealous because your car or your house is better than hers because she don't have a car or a house or her car is raggedy and she can't help herself because she ugly and stupid, that's like that. Or if you get a bomb ass nigga and this bitch wants the same nigga or want a nigga like yours or try to get your nigga and can't get him, that is a messy sissy. Y'all know who y'all hoes is. Y'all are listed under the bitch assness law. Honey, somebody's here to spray y'all ass with hole remover. Here I go. Spray, spray. This is just for rest of being for rest of. Enjoy this video because I know it's going to get some buzz. And for everybody gay that's loving my all your single sissy videos, y'all know I'm a fucking fool. But I do it for you. Enjoy all the videos. Subscribe. 615-823-8925. You can tell me what you think about me because guess what? I've already told you what I think about you. Toodles. Oh shit, they go to police. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Call, call the police. If your breath smelling like shit, call the police. If your mama likes sucking dick, call the police. If you looking like a fucking kite. Oh, I ain't got nothing against lesbians. <laughs>